can be a little bit overwhelming as a hotel starting to think about sustainability. And um, so the advice I would give is choose one area at a time, pick something off to it, and ins inspire your team to guide where you should go and allow your team to challenge you with where you should go next, where you're not up to scratch. And above all, you know, your guests are bright. Don't greenwash them. You can't have a policy where you say, put your towels in the bath, we, we care about the environment, and then not provide recycling bins and not provide a means of turning down the heating. And they'll talk to your staff. They'll know whether you're doing it with your hearts or whether you're doing it just because of the cash flow and your bank balance. Lots of people ask about whether our guests come to the hotel because of our sustainable approach. And the answer is, is that some very much do. They've heard about us, they've heard about all the awards we've won, and they come to us because of it. Loads don't. They come to us because we're a good hotel. They come to us because when they step in through the door, they can actually see the difference because by because of our ethos, because we actually care about everybody, um, to, differently to most other hotels, there is a sense of that in the hotel. The staff are fantastic, you know, they, they inspire me every day. And they are just very caring compared with a lot of staff you encounter in the hotels. And I think that part of that is, is makes the guests come back. We have guests who come back year after year. But it's not the sustainable activities in themselves, it's just that they see it as a as part of our family atmosphere. And it's that ethos that is really at the core of our business. Another area that we really like is, is, and is very important to us is to actually inspire our guests to change and take on new ideas. And our whole children's activity program and um, entertainment program from guests is really about appreciating um, the simple pleasures in life. So we take them back to nature. We take them rock pool rambling on the beach so that they can understand the marine conservation and the importance of rock pool um, habitats and things. And our whole children's program is, is built around sustainable activities. We tell the stories of a little local farmer that we've just started buying cheese from, you know, and how he got to be making his cheese. We tell the story of our local wine producer and his history as a, a fighter pilot who, you know, had to come out and, and retire to Cornwall when he was injured and, and how he just happened to buy a house in this hot valley that's perfect for wine. And we tell the stories about our beach cleans and what fun we had picking up, you know, picking up the stuff and keeping our beach looking good. And it's those stories, I think, that inspire our guests rather than just lists of stuff that we do. So it's really good for us because our guests buy into us as an ethical business. And when faced with a choice, a lot of consumers will choose an ethical business over one that isn't. So the danger for those businesses that, that are greenwashing and just trying to do a few measures and, and, and get away with it is that they're not going to be the first choice for their guests. And so I think it's fantastic for business. We don't really do it to save money, though you know, putting in low energy light bulbs and things will always save money. Um, we do it because we care. And I think that that is very good for our business because we care, our staff care and our guests notice that. Mm -hmm.